Uh, so, the renovated Uhuru and Central Parks will soon be Nairobi's new chill out spots. In a tweet, NMS said the green spaces house uh, several recreational spots. They include a playground, an outdoor gym, jogging tracks, botanical trails, outdoor library, and a skating park. I'm not sure survive for long. When you travel, <laughs> let me tell you, when you travel abroad, like you see, they have those outdoor gyms. Yeah. I just. I don't know. Will people? They'll, what one is that? What are, I mean, uh, the first I, the first thing I saw when I saw this thing is, I think Kenyans need to be trained more to have the good things of life. Yeah. So this way we can take care of these good things that we have coming to us. Speak. Because uh, I, when you go to the SGR, when you go to our airports, when you go to our roads, we really have nice things. If only we can take care of them. That's true. Even these things that we have, you know, things like we have flowers on the walls of our roads. There are things that don't happen every day to our neighbors, Uganda <coughs> and uh, Ao and Zao. Like, but we have them. Vandalism only comes because like now when Tikarod was launched, we were told that we were losing almost a billion shillings to vandalism across our roads every year. So there was even a point when our president had to give a shoot to kill order for everyone who was found, you know, vandalizing, vandalizing. things on the road. Perfect. So we should just be taught, like, for example, we had water in the, in the CBD before. Like, you my archives, Kulikwana Tap, Apple, that was Nini doing clean water. There used to be random taps everywhere, so that when you were just walking, on a queue, ama you feel like they would just be a place that. where you would wash your hands or have clean water to drink. What happened? But because we can't keep those things taps were stolen the first day <laughs> you take security lights to 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 the ghetto they are stolen the first day and it is the people there that they are helping mm -hmm. so we should just be trained to learn how to have these good things of uh, life. Yeah. do you remember when we had the uh ny scandal yeah and then people were burning property there yes. was you know they just it was just a mayhem yeah. and i and i kept wondering do they know who is disadvantaged here yep. when, you know when you do that yes yep. mato apparently there's no swahili word for maintenance Mm. Oh, umetafuta. Ah, matu. There's no Swahili word for maintenance. Kudhibiti, kustahimili, ku no, kustahimili no, no. specifically for maintenance. A word that does not mean any other thing. Mm. Yeah. Oh, does that, okay. Si, 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 hands off, hands off. I mean, the park looks cute, uh, except does. for the gate, except for the gate. I don't uh -huh. know what that, that gate, my guys, no. Can we just walk I into the park? Know. It's a, no, let me be honest. We are refusing to be distracted, yeah? <laughs> the park looks gorgeous. I still have so many questions about it. Um, at least a billion, sh at the very least, a billion shillings was given to this park. It was still not an open process. Who was given these tenders? Who are your contractors? Who are your suppliers? Uh, where, Jogging trails. Where, where? I, I'm saying what I'm saying. Jogging trails are nice. Outdoor gyms are nice. All that. But we need to be more transparent about it. Because we woke up one day and Uhuru Park was boarded up. And then we woke up another day and it's now apparently ready to be open to the public. We can't do things like that. Just because um, President Uhuru is leaving his term does not mean we cannot hold him accountable. Uh -huh. For the decisions he's made while the Power. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm still saying it was not done transparently and we're still allowed to ask questions. Now, let me, now, let me ask you this question. How yeah. often did you go to Uhuru Park before? Um, not in recent years, but when I was in uni, I passed it like, you know, almost Kupita. on a daily basis. Kupitia. Yeah, he's Kupitia. talking about like you go. So, <laughs> well, first of all, let's target yeah. audience. Yeah. Second, I mean, the amount of work that needed to be done in Uhuru Park to convert yeah. it from what it was to what it is now, mm. I believe was too much at a labia one billion wali jaribu. I'm saying a labda. Labda kuna tuvitu tulipotelea hapa na pale. But wali jaribu. In all honesty, the number of people who would have Uhuru Park as their getaway destination from any other thing where from wherever they live. But you're misunderstanding me. I'm not saying revamping it was a bad thing. Uh -huh. I'm just saying it's still okay to ask questions because the, the process, which process was done blah, blah, blah. was very opaque in nature. <laughs> oh, there she goes, <laughs> Commissioner <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Maria <Hey, laughs> hey, Chebe, she's sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah, please. Yes. I am sorry. Okay. But, but but also I think we should we stop putting recreational facilities to be a secondary thing. They are just as important as the other things. True. Like, uh, it is very sad when you go to the ghettos and schools, you don't have playing grounds. You don't have uh, people, even out here in town, the uh, Jivanji Gardens here in Nairobi have been very important. You go to uh, Jaramogio Gingo Dinga Gardens in Kisumu. You go to uh, Mwasinde Muliro Gardens in Kakamega. You go to all those other recreational parks that we have. Mm -hmm. They all should have a space where you just go, you relax. Sahau Shida za <laughs> no, it was I, 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 I
<laughs> thank God, Martin, because you know that on name, brand, on brand. I have never, I, I didn't even know about the park until that time when the story came out. We <laughs> can't talk about the story, but I mean, yeah. if you look up Masinde Muliro, it's not going to be trees that come up. They will. Kakamega County will have to work so hard because even today. If you Google Masinde Muliro Gardens, then you go to images, it's not bad. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, but it is what it is. It um, is what it is. I don't know about Jivanji. What about Jivanji? No, no, Jivanji is a good garden. Still, yeah. save for Wale Wanabuiria Watuko. The political <laughs> <Stop. laughs> That is so true. That is so true. They really do preach. And you yeah. see someone, it's so stressed because, you know, you're just there, Ukona, she does that whole, this guy yes. standing here. You're not even paying. You're so used to that, you know, that kind of noise that, like but that yeah. pastor was going there on and on about wali kuwa na una wanunulia nyama choma sasa wamekuacha ona sasa una kitu and the guys are just lying there helpless <laughs> did you guys see this video now this is a different story yeah. in uh, i think it was in lagos where uh, a pastor was you know of course preaching and he was telling people if you want to plant a seed come with seven thousand naira i'm going to count to seven and you know you start coming and he starts you know talking he's like please run no one gets up it goes down he's like five thousand naira so come i pray for you I w and the church is full no one mm. comes up and then he says three thousand naira he's like he's going to count to five you know if you're standing just mm. people didn't come at all <laughs> and it was so awkward and then he was like okay just stretch your hands towards me if you want me to pray for you and that's a walk church I like it. Yeah, that's a walk manifesting that for kenya some some oh, select yes. kenyan churches well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all of them <laughs> <laughs> manifest that for manifesting them for all Kus kuskiza with your spiritual ears not that's your physical that's ones your wallet you know, wallet. you know, you know Mato, i used to be that person who uh, was very afraid of religion being the opium of the masses but then i realized there are so many other things that we do in our day-to-day -day lives mm. that if you applied the brain we apply to the religion mm -hmm. You would not be able to, like being in relationships, for example. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, if you opened your eyes like you're opening with religion, you would not be in any relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're saying. There's right. some eyes that need to remain shut. That's what you're saying. <laughs> There's that. Did you see that video where the, the, the it's also another young preacher and he's saying how faith works and so he wants to get water. So the water is on on a table. <laughs> You know, did you guys see that video? No. You didn't see it. I can't even tell you no, the no, joke on air. I mean, it's how many yeah. videos you're watching. What internet yes. are you using? That's the last one. Yeah. Yeah. It's on my. Are you it's being on given? my. It's on my. And why pastors? Because they're religious. Because they're religious. That makes pastors just. <laughs> it's, it's, it's religious. It's religious content because that's the kind of person I am. It's the kind of person oh. I am. Oh. Yeah. Those oh, are the jokes sorry. I get. Those. That's the content I watch. Anyway, no, there were just, there were two of them, yeah. and I know if you watch that water video, you know what I'm talking about because he says you know come to it just you it can really be taken out